Alrighty, well, we're back again and um, did some parameter checks and changes. Don't know what it was with the um, parameters that I had posted, but when I fired this thing back up again, those, those were not the parameters that were in this thing. And um, so, what I've done is I've gone over to Putty, turned my inverter on since I don't have a key switch. And then unplugged from that and went back over to my Mac side of things and went to the web interface. And so this is what I have. If I make a change to the parameters, it shuts it off. Then I have to go back to Putty to turn it back on. So I still don't have a key switch. Um, just got home from work, so I'm not going to mess with that tonight. <clears throat> but things are running. I have a graph up with frequencies and it's running and so I've got the inverter on so I'm gonna spin it up and show you uh, what's going on here with the frequency part of it uh, a little throttle thing for turning it on and off basically my throttle key and I set it down somewhere other than here so we'll find something else so I'm going to spin this thing up and you'll be able to see this way I don't have to save as I go so let's see what happens here change or that drop so again don't load so I'm changing the frequency but I'm not changing the speed of the motor much of anything Once I get to a certain point, it just slows way down. So there's still, it still just jumps right up to, to that speed. There's no throttle control per se, but that's the, the frequency part of this thing. So shut that down. Now that you have that, and you can kind of see what's going on there, I'm going to let's go to the battery side of things and see what happens here. Let me start my graph. making some weird things. Changes how my motor runs. Having that graph running. So we'll go with that. It's not showing much. It's only got 24 volts so it's not really going very high. <clears throat> it doesn't even look like it's registering 24 volts because this is 50 up here. So temperature, I don't have anything, so let's go with the motor. Start the graph. So I don't know why that's starting out at that point there. But let's go see what it does. And it spikes, it just jumps right up. I can't really slow it down much. It is no load, so that, that's that's pretty pretty much expected. A little bit of a little bit 
bit of throttle control up towards the top, but not much, and then down back to uh, regen mode. So that should just drop right, right down to the bottom. So that's what we have there. And then we can go to motor and advanced parameters. So boost is 7,000, F weak is 10. Um, and if I change any of these, then it shuts off the inverter. I can't restart it unless I go back to putty. So I'm not going to change anything. So uh, number of impressions uh, 64 and um, whole pairs is two. F slip min 2, max 4, F weak 10, um, occur laminate negative 100, um, so if there's anything in this thing that we see that can be changed, so I'm going to save this parameter list and post it up. See what you think. So we're going to do that. So we're going to download parameters. Yeah, I'll be right in. Yes. And see, I'm, re I'm videoing this, not, not my face. <laughs> Okie dokie, now we're back again after a short little uh, thing here. Um, there's my throttle key hiding. Um, so I'm just going to show the motor again, just like uh, we did yesterday. And uh, my uh, adapter here is not square. I put my flywheel on, and it was wobbling all over the place. So I really don't like those. Um, so I may end up changing. Um, it's a big good, but um, I may end up changing the adapter plate. But for now, we'll keep going with it. Um, they're just a little picky and finicky and you got to take things apart put things back together again so I may need to push this and bottom it out or figure out what kind of a spacer I might need to keep this in the forward position um, so it's the proper fit for the car and, um, and right now this face and this face are, are proper for putting this on and um, so anyway I'm gonna spin this little guy up again and uh, let you see what we've been doing so it's not any different just kind of so what the changes I did no load it just goes right up the speed but here it's not uh, revving up really high like it did yesterday and um, so it feels like it's more in control even though it's not um, so it's not like going in an open mode like Johannes said um, it's just kind of spinning up, stops at a level when the 24 volts is um, the back EMF, probably preventing it from going any faster. So with no load, yes, it should just jump right up to speed and, um, and go from there. And we're running 25 volts in the um, machine here. So I wanted to see something here.
Let me do a ground. So I'm showing 20 volts. On the voltmeter. So let's see what we can do here. So we've got so on each leg. Uh, so that's uh, well, hang on a second here. Untangle this stupid mess of wires. Just here, just real quick here when I okay, so that's going in. Actually showing like 8.1 volts per per leg running at this speed. So let's uh, put this up so we can see. Well, maybe. Twenty point three millivolts coming off the IGBT. Eight point two volts, seven point nine. That's off of a twenty four volt battery. We have that just to let you see. Those are just the little things, and I like it a little better. And so we'll continue from there, and we'll talk to you all later. Bye.